Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. So I get asked all the time about what type of printer to use with your Cricut machine. I did a past video and I will link to that below that goes over like more expensive printer options and which of those I like best for crafting with my Cricut. But on that video, I get requests for a less expensive printer. So both of these are like a hundred bucks or less at the filming of this video. So I thought, let's put these to the test. See which one is best for the type of printing you would do with your Cricut machine. Now, both of these are ink jet printers. They cannot be converted to sublimation. So this is not a sublimation printer video. I will say that again. This one is an Epson, this one is an HP, but they are just for inkjet printing. So printing like stickers, art for your home, you know, prints for your you know, home office, that type of thing. That's what these two printers would be used for. So they're less expensive and they're also super small and compact, which makes them good for a lot of home crafters as well. So what are the two printers we're gonna compare? So this is the Epson XP4100. Now you can see it's fairly compact um, and it does, I think it does come in a couple different colors. If you don't like the black, that's fine, but it is fairly compact. And even when you have it out, so there is an input tray that comes out of the back. So it doesn't take up a whole lot of extra space. And then there's an output tray and the, um, the panel itself flips up on the front but still not a huge printer, right? The next printer is this little HP guy. So this is the HP DeskJet, and I have the 3755. Um, I've actually had this for several years. We've used it around our home for a variety of things. Um, I don't use it for my everyday printing. I do like the Envy that I um, did in a past video. I do like it a little bit better for print quality, but this one is really good. So I decided to include it in this video, especially since I already had it. So I'm gonna undo the output tray and the input tray and then hold this guy up. So about the same footprint when it's all like laid out, but the benefit of this guy is it folds up so super small and could fit in a super small space when not in use. So I feel like that's one of the benefits of the HP printer. But neither one has any benefits unless they work right, right? So I am going to test a variety of materials, printing them on both machines. And we're gonna take a super close and in-depth look. And what I'm gonna do is test a lot of printer settings with both of them and try to hone down onto like the best print I can get off both and just see how they compare. And hopefully we come out at the end of this with the best Cricut printer on a budget for your crafting. So let's take a look at the prints. All right, so I have the same print printed on several printers here. So this first one is that Epson printer I just showed you. And then the second one is the HP DeskJet that I just showed you. So there is maybe a slight difference, but I wanted something to compare these to. So I also printed the same print and these are all in regular copy paper. I printed the same print with my HP Envy, so it's a photo printer. And if I look at the three of these, I can't tell a ton of difference. Now this is a watercolor print, but all the prints are pretty good on just standard copy paper. So let's move on to a little thicker and go with cardstock and see if we can tell any differences. All right, so here's cardstock. This one is printed on my Epson that I just showed you the Epson XP4100. This one is on the HP DeskJet 3755. I can definitely see a difference now that I'm using cardstock. The Epson just seems a little bit duller and the color's not as bright as the HP DeskJet. And then if I pull back out that print I made on the Envy from before, I think you can tell that the colors on the Epson, which is on the left, are just a little off. So I'm starting to notice a difference where the Epson is not doing as well. But the primary reason I feel like a lot of people use their Cricut with a printer is to make stickers. So let's try some sticker papers. All right, so here are some sticker paper comparisons. This one is with that Epson and I did a bunch of different trials. This is the best example I was able to get from the Epson 
XP 4100. This is the HP DeskJet. So the DeskJet itself is tons brighter than the Epson. And the Epson, and I'm gonna try to zoom in super close here. So if you can see on that Epson print, there are tiny dots all over the print and I was not able to get rid of those. In contrast, on the HP DeskJet print, there are none of those little dots. Like the ink is super smooth, it looks amazing, not pixelated, no lines, no anything. So I'm really starting to see a difference in where the HP print quality is quite a bit better. And I went ahead and printed that same sticker sheet with my Envy. And I could maybe say the Envy's a little bit better in print quality, but if you were to hand me the HP Envy and the HP DeskJet print side by side, I don't know if I could tell a difference between the two. I could definitely pick out the Epson print though, and the print quality on it, as we talked about, is not as good. So all three of these are on Cricut printable vinyl, which is what I use for most of my sticker papers, just because it's fairly thin and it runs through most printers really well. Now, let's talk about thicker sticker papers because we do have a problem there. If I move to a printable sticker paper, this is the Cricut version that's super thick. The Cricut is one of the thickest sticker papers I think I've encountered. I can't run this printable sticker paper through my HP Envy that I use every day at all. It does not work. So I can't use this paper at all. So I was kind of excited to use these little printers and see if I could use the printable sticker paper instead of the printable vinyl. These two are the results with the HP DeskJet. So when this happens, when the top gets cut off and you don't get your full box, that means that the printer is not feeding it through correctly. This is similar to what happens on my MB most of the time, or it just doesn't print at all. So the HP DeskJet was a fail. On the other hand, the Epson printed the sticker paper fine. So the Epson XP4100 printed that sticker paper fine, but again, I could never find a print setting that would not give me this sort of pixelated look to the print that I'm just not wild about. So you can just see little dots all within the print and the print quality is just not as smooth as the HP printers. All right, so can we find the best Cricut printer on a budget? I think so. For me, it's definitely the HP DeskJet. I have the 3755. I'm just not super impressed with the print quality of the Epson XP 4100. Although it could do those thick papers, which I really like, you'll still have the trouble with the thick paper on the HP DeskJet. So whether that's that thick sticker paper that I talked about with the Cricut, or a super thick white cardstock that you're trying to print on, you're probably gonna have trouble feeding it through the HP DeskJet. But if you stick to those like thinner sticker papers, I think you'll be super happy with the print quality of the HP DeskJet, whereas I'm afraid you would be disappointed with print quality on the Epson printer. So for me, still staying with the HP printers, I'm going to stick with the HP DeskJet 3755 for my budget printer choice. Now, I'm gonna link to both these printers below. You can click over, find out more information, look at them for yourself. If you're watching on computer, click show more to see that description. If you are on mobile, you can swipe up to see the description for the video. Now, I will also link below to my printer comparison for the bigger, more expensive printers. So if you want to upgrade from your small and expensive printer, that's a great way to do that. So I did want to point out that the Epson, the ink, it's a four cartridge system. So you have a cartridge for each color whereas the HP is like a more standard, to me at least, cartridge system where you have black for one and color for the other. The other thing I always like about HP is that you can do the instant ink program, which means that as soon as your printer starts to run out of ink, it basically orders more for you and it's delivered to your house. So I pay for the instant ink program because I find it super convenient and because I am at my home printing a lot, I find it saves me a ton of money. So I pay a couple bucks every month and when I'm about to run out of ink, 
it just shows up at my door. I don't do anything. When my printer asks for ink, I pop a new cartridge in and I'm done. I think Epson might have a similar program because it said something when I was registering this printer. So it might offer that to me at a later date now that I've registered and set it up and that type of thing. So they may also offer a similar program, but I do know about the HP Instant Ink because I use it every single month. So I hope that helps you decide on a Cricut printer, especially if you're looking for one on a budget. I really think you'll be happy with the HP DeskJet printer. So if you like this video, learn something new, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, feel free to ask those in the comment section below. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos like this all the time and you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.